Hey guys, so here are my first impressions about day game and dating in Buenos Aires after my few days and 33 sets in this city. I'm St. Robert and for the last, well, like two and a half years, I've been living from city to city and looking for three cities where I would want to live. Uh, chill my cities with beautiful, smart and interesting girls, but I mostly go to places where other day gamers don't go, sort of like dating off the beaten path. I'll be in Buenos Aires for two months and I'll have two coaching spots in January, but more about that at the end of the video. When I spent the last winter in Playa del Carmen, Mexico, I realized one thing. Most of the hottest girls I've opened on the street were from Argentina. So for a year I wanted to come here. This was a, a big goal. So I wanted to see how day game works in a place like this. And the first impressions have been, this is the Ukraine of Latin America. The quality is definitely there. I think this is one of the hidden gems of Latin America. Uh, I've done not a lot, maybe like 10, 11, 12, something like that sets over the last two days uh, since I've been here, but I've done them mostly kind of on my way to the grocery store, on my way to get some money or to get a SIM card. Because every time you arrive in a country, there's like a lot of stuff you have to do as a setup thing. So I can't really comment, comment yet on, on much about day game here, but the first impressions have been very positive. More than half of the sets I've opened have uh, been in English. Uh, a few have been in Spanish. I've gotten numbers both from chicks that speak uh, only Spanish and, and spoke, both speak Spanish and English. I've actually even done a set in Russian here. So, so far it's a, it's a mix of everything. You see Colombians, you see Venezuelans, and of course most of the people here are Argentines. So I'll keep exploring this over the next few days and keep reporting to you about what is that what what is my first impression about day game in this city and what you can learn from it if you decide to come here from the sites i've done i've been out with two chicks one was a date and the other was a friendly thing but we knew it was gonna be a friendly thing from the get-go but i still thought well i might i might go out have some fun find out about the city ask her to show me some bars and that's kind of what we did ended up uh, uh being very uh Hi, let's just say hi, let's not uh, beat around the bush, ended up being super high at her place and just having really good conversations. But uh, so far the conversations are all over the place. It's not that they're super receptive, it's not that they are super not receptive. You you get uh, chicks that are very receptive, you get chicks that just kind of walk off right after the opener. Uh, so it's all over the place, it's not specifically like there, you, there are some places like New York where you get many many rejections and then some nice sets or like Ukraine where if you speak the language you'll be doing very very good uh, day gaming in Russian and here it's, it's both there are sets that go really well there are sets that go to nowhere and there are things in the middle some sets have been in Spanish and those for whatever reason if they were longer seem to be doing better in terms of number closing and texting but maybe because they're not from here, those were chicks from other countries, so maybe they don't have such a good social circle there, which is what you always have to kind of think as well. Uh, that's why foreigners are easier to game, because they just don't have the life on the social circle that uh, locals have. So they're usually more receptive and open to communication with a random dude on the street. So I ended up doing 11 sets. That was yesterday. Today is actually the next day, and I'm out again running some errands, and then I'm going to do some sets. Uh, the first impressions after this day of 11 sets. By the way, I don't remember the last time I did 11 sets just for me without doing demos, without coaching anyone. It felt so amazing. It reminded me of being in Ukraine and just doing day game because I want to do a day game, not because I have to coach and teach and, 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 and all of that stuff. So it was really, really cool to just game for myself. Uh, the first impressions, uh, I did get like four numbers out of 11 sets, but those numbers here seem flaky and the ones that respond some of them are okay but some are a bit weaker so numbers are definitely weaker than what i'm used to these are more like numbers in new york so a lot of the stuff here when it comes to day game is like like it is in new york city i was falling asleep yesterday and was just thinking fuck this i'm used to places where i, I show up when i'm just killing it and then here it's definitely not like that but then i was thinking well if I was coaching anyone here, what would I do? And, and I would just keep coaching and, and students never do well in the first days and, and they have to put in a lot of volume. And, and it's the same with me. I also 
how to go out, learn what works here, put in a lot of volume. And eventually, if you're doing the right things, this is, this is anywhere with day game, anywhere you go. If you're doing the right things and, and you know what to do and you're putting in the volume that at the end, you will get results. And I think it's the same here. I just have to go out. I just have to do a bunch of sets, filter through all the feminist, like not the bad type of feminist stuff that is here. I'm actually very pro the good type of feminism, which is a topic for another video, but there's a lot of you know, people getting offended easily, not understanding jokes, which is uh, like a fairly typical thing in Latin America. The, the sense of humor is very, very different from Europe or even from the US. Uh, people are a bit more easily to offend, like you make a joke and, and they don't get it, it's a fucking joke and, and they just get offended. I would call them a, a bit of a... I would call Argentines a little bit of a snowflakes. Yeah, like, they're incredibly sensitive. It's kind of funny. But uh, it's just a difference in the type of people you have here compared to... Like, I'm more used to Western Europe with tougher people who don't smile as much. And, and it's very different than this. So you just kind of have to learn to adapt and, uh, to the new environment. So the plan today is I will run some errands and I will go out and probably do 10 sets today unless I get super, super tired. And at the end, I will put together everything that I've learned over these first 20 something, 30 something sets. Uh, and this will be the end of this video. Your, your smile will not be visible. <laughs> So the last day I went out ended with me doing 10 approaches, getting 7 contact details, uh, including 2 eye dates, uh, one of which ended, well, very interesting, you'll see later in the video. Here are the main things I've learned about day game in the city. Well, number one is do not open by tapping on a shoulder from behind. People are getting robbed here way too often. I've had girls uh, freak out, uh, clutch their purses, clutch their phones. One even started screaming, but she chilled out completely as soon as uh, I kept my composure I was smiling and just talking to her slowly and uh, she knew everything is fine but uh, don't do that I'm not doing full-on front stops here I'm opening from the side but mostly with my voice and that seems to work pretty good but definitely make sure she sees you before you open and the typical open with a compliment sometimes seem to not work that well. As soon as I would say, I thought you look cute, I had to say hi, a lot of them started leaving. So I experimented with something else. I experimented with starting with the stack and then just mentioning, oh yeah, I, I thought it's, it's very cute. Uh, that seemed to work much better and I will keep exploring this, I will keep experimenting with this and make an uh, additional separate video about this because this could be a solution for some places in the world where it kind of seems the day game isn't really working. There are a few cities in Europe where feminism is a very, very strong thing. So as soon as you open too direct, they, they kind of they kind of leave. Um, but you, yes, you're watching this video. There is a 90% chance that this is not about you if day game isn't working for you. And most likely you're doing something else wrong. This is only about a few select cities in Europe. But again, more about all of that in the future video. Also, if you're listening to this and thinking, what the fuck is pre-opener, what the fuck is stacking, what's all of this stuff, and, and you don't really have the fundamentals of day game uh, down, then check out the structured natural video series on my YouTube channel, where I explain why girls leave very soon after you open them, why do you keep getting blowouts, or they leave kind of soon after starting the conversation. And I explain the same things I explain my infield coaching students. The link is in the description. And look what a lovely drink they just got me. So, so far I've done 33 sets in a few days. I've had uh, 17 contact details. I've had two dates. One of them ended with... Like and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. A lovely bonding experience. Girls here definitely are very beautiful. The traffic is nowhere near what I expected from a city this big. Getting in 10 sets in 2 hours seems kind of hard to do. 
but I'll explore other more local parts of the city and report that on the next videos about the Buenos Aires. The numbers here are fairly flaky, I would say very flaky, but as always with most places, if you really know what you're doing and you put in the volume, you will get the results eventually. If you are newer to day game, you don't know much about day game or you're fairly average, let's say you have less than maybe 15, 20 lays, then, well, this isn't the city for you. Check out other places in Latin America. Argentina is much, much harder for day game than other places in this part of the world. But um, to me, I don't really care about that. If I like the city and I think the game is doable there, I will stay there. I will keep exploring it. To me, it's not really... It's not a barrier, it's not a reason to not stay or not enjoy the city, so I love the city, I'll stay here, I'll keep the gaming here, and I'm pretty sure I will be coming back to the city more and more. Two-thirds of my sites here are in English, but still, if you're coming to the city, you should know some Spanish, because in many restaurants and bars, people do not speak English, so don't expect them to uh, just know that if you are really taking Latin America seriously, you have to learn the language. It is a beautiful city, it's very nice, it's very chilled out. It's like a mix between New York City and Barcelona. A lot of trees, a lot of parks everywhere you go. Uh, people, well, I have mixed opinions, they're kind of serious, but they also know how to have some fun. I have been going from place to place for more than two years, uh, looking for three places where I would want to live, and I'm pretty sure I have found my second city where I want to return again and again. I will explore other parts of the city and I will report in the future videos how I like them and how my opinion changes over the two months I'm going to spend in Argentina. I will keep exploring, learning and reporting about day game and dating in Argentina for the next two months while I'm here before I go to the next destination to Rio for the Rio Carnival. So if you want to make sure that you don't miss the stuff I share with my YouTube subscribers or, or mailing list subscribers, and make sure you are on the mailing list and you can subscribe by going to my website saintforward.blog and as i said in the beginning of the video i will have two coaching spots in this city in january i do have three guys interested in them but well none of them has prepaid for the spot so the spots are available if anything anyone wants them uh, both of the spots are going to be in Hola. so where did where, where was i oh yes two coaching spots uh, both three and five day coaching spots are available as always all coaching is one-on-one -on -one. if you want to find out more or sign up then there's a link in the description fill the form there and i'll send you all the information you might need and of course as always like and subscribe <laughs>